Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Dye. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Dyes Shorts. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So it's starting to get warm here in Arizona. I think it was like 90 degrees yesterday. So that, that was, that was pretty warm for us this this time of year. Um, I know summer's coming. I shouldn't complain when there's people with snow, but it gets a little warm when you <laughs> go shopping and get in your car in the parking lot. It's like, eh. but thank goodness for air conditioning. Okay, so today I have the new, new kit. So I was so excited um, to see this kit. I didn't know it was a kit, you know, the first time I saw it. I saw it when I opened up um, the new catalog, and I was like, what are these cute little critters? And I'm, I'm, and it's a kit, so I'm so glad because it's available to you now um, while supplies last. So I thought um, I'm totally going to show up. We get two new kits a month, and I also, I already showed you... Um, the the second one and that was the one with the fold out um did i you i think i might have give them all away hold on a minute did i give them all away oh no i still have some i still have a couple of those all right so it was this kit there was um balloons birthday and then this is this is the congrats so this is the other kit that you can get this month and they had the fun little um honeycomb puff outs or whatever call whatever you call it um so i have already showed that i do have a video um with with that kit and then this kit i'm going to do today is is the second one so i'm so excited to get to it um i am watching live with you um during the live premiere in the chat room so if you um are are joining me live um make sure you head on over there um i love um all the chitter chatter in there and if you have questions that's a great place to ask them and then um if you are watching the replay then just comment bef below and youtube will let me know and then i can um answer you answer you there so i would also love if you subscribe to my channel click the little um thingy that says all and then that will let you know when um i upload a video i go live or any of that kind of stuff Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm going to um, spin my camera. So close your eyes just for a minute and um, we'll get started. Before we get started with the kit today, um, this is the last day and this is April the 12th. So this is the last day to sign up for my cutest cows bundle class in the mail kit. Um, so you get the adorable um, cutest cows stamp set, the coordinating punch. You get a pack of the flowers and hearts and flowers adhesive embellishments. They are so adorable. You also get a pack of the three um, color baker's twine as well. And it also includes um, supp the supplies for five projects. A PDF will be emailed to you and it has close up pics and a supply list. And it includes a priority postage. And then um, in that PDF is a embedded video link and then that you'll just click on that and it will take you to a private YouTube video where you can make your projects along with me now this is USA only and these will go out the week of April the 22nd and the class is 85 and it includes all that stuff that I just mentioned there um, and then like I said today's the last day um, I'm almost sold out so you want to if you want to do this one don't don't wait and um, if you already have this bundle, you can choose a different um, same catalog value item, and then that will come with your um, class instead. You just have to make sure it fits in the priority envelope. If you are a member of my team, they I do have a team perk, and it's 25, and they just get the guts. So it includes you know the supplies and everything, and the PDF, and the priority postage, and all that, and the video link. But they don't get this stuff. Because then they order this on their own um, and they get commission on it. It helps with their quarterly minimums. I've had people um, add it to their starter kit and then they um, can get the um, the class, the team perk for 25 only. So if you have any questions in regards to that, make sure you ask me. Because again, today is the last day to sign up for that. 
All right, so let me get this off my desk. All right, it is so cute, that little cow bottle. All right, so this is the kit. So we have our old olive, and you know me. Where's my big mama old olive? Right here. <laughs> I always like to use the big pad. All right, and then what else do we got? So this is an all-inclusive kit. And these are great if you like to um, craft on the go. Maybe you're a brand new stamper. And what's great about this is it comes with the block. So if you are new, um, you might not have any blocks, right? You might be going, oh, I don't have a block. Well, this one comes with it. I'm looking for my scissors. Here we go. Um, this one comes with the block, so it comes with um, the little ink pad, the block. You've got your embellishments. I'm just looking here quick. You've got some dimensionals. I probably should have opened this before. All right. You can see Winston. I'm getting old people's skin. He. He'll give me a little scratch sometimes, like pet me or whatever. He wants something, and sometimes it just makes a mark. All right, so we've got this really cute embellishment in here. Look how adorable these are. They're like little hearts. And that's just the back side, but so fun. They've got like, they're um, embossed. So can you see that? They, they look like a little... Um, tray or whatever and so here's the block I was talking about so you do get a block now I've been stamping forever so I have have my own blocks off to the side all right so let's see here what this is going to make it also has like I said our dimensionals some little pieces here some really cute envelopes look at these envelopes So fun. And then the cards. So we've got kind of um, water, um, water mark kind of splash on them there. And I'm getting them all mixed up here. And then here is the cute little animals. Oh my gosh. So fun. All right. And then your chipboard. So if you are out and about, um, you can use the chipboard as like a table otherwise I just keep them um, and I use them sometimes to um, if I'm ma mailing something that needs a little stability or whatever um, I just use that chipboard all right so let's get our pieces it is you make my heart happy and uh, oh and they even have the cute little feet all right so this is adorable what do you have dogs or cats all right now some of our blocks what is this? best friends forever you make my heart happy um let's see here now some of our blocks are retiring i put that on the the video i'm just grabbing blocks so i'm one i can't remember now which ones i know one was a little bitty one and some of them are already gone so the little, little tiny one, I know this one is retiring. All right. So just make sure you can see the retired list on my blog, and it's over here. All right. What am I saying? You make my heart happy. You'll all, I'm always be by your side. All right. So I'm just grabbing blocks off to the side here. And then the cute little feet. There's even, look at there's even a dog bone and a cat fish and then it says here's to a true friend best friends forever it this is adorable all right this would be great um say you have a friend that you know just got a new puppy a new kitty maybe you know somebody that works at a rescue this would be awesome this would be great um i might have to give one of these kits to our vets because this would be super cute for them to stamp on like envelopes that they send out. All right. 
Looks good, look good. All right, so let's get all the pieces I need. So the pieces I need, so I like this because it lets you choose, right? Like maybe you're not a cat person, you know, you can choose the dog. Maybe you're not a dog person, you can choose the cat. It's totally up to you. All right, so I'm gonna do two of each. So we have this one, because I'm gonna do one with a dog and one with a cat. that goes in there we want this kitty now if you want these are already like um you know you punch them out if this white border bothers you you can easily trim trim that if you want look at this hound dog i know that the neighbor that has a hound dog all right i'm gonna need these guys for the other card but look how cute the little cat is playing all right so you get quite a few all right let me just set those aside all right so we want two envelopes and two envelopes all right so i got those cards and so this is fun because it's it looks like it's two pieces, but it's just one piece with that um, picture underneath it. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's used on both cards. All right. Okay. And then I need of these. So I think this is going to be super quick to put together, which again would be perfect if you get this kit and you give it as a gift. Okay. And oh, I put I don't even know what I'm doing here. Hang on. All right. Yes, this and this. All right, so let's just get all our stamping done. Oh, and we also are going to use some of those really, really cute little hearts, but I'll grab those in a second. So it has the instructions. So that's basically what I did, right? I just pulled the pieces that I needed and the little um, critters. But like I said, I'm going to do um, one of each. So I'm going to do one with a dog, one with a cat on each style. And, okay, you make my heart happy. Now these are new stamps, so and these are photopolymer. So a lot of times when they're new, like this, I'll use a Versamark, and that kind of seasons them. So let me bring them over here. And then I just want a little piece of scrap paper so I can kind of clean that off. So I'm just going to use my, I'm just going to fold a grid sheet here to make it a little bit smaller. All right, so sometimes it just neat when they're photopolymer, you just want to put a little bit of um, conditioning on them because sometimes they've got like a little bit of a film just from them being made. And I um, was at the um, home office and the, the um, and then you just go like this, just kind of get it off. You don't want to wash it off. You just kind of want to get most of it off. But I was at the factory and watched them make these and it's such a cool um cool way to um that they're made it's pretty cool all right there we go and all right so now they have so let's pop so we're going to pop these out and i would keep these little hearts because they're really cute we could glue them on the inside of the card so we're going to pop these out Okay, and let's do our greetings. You make my heart happy. Okay, Is that, you make my heart happy. And then you could use it, the, the um, you know, you could use either one of the greetings, really. All right, so now we've got you make my heart happy. 
Now let me make sure I've got that good and inked. Yes. Because I was using my old olive the other day, so it's nice and juicy. So you make my heart happy. And they also stamped. Let's see. Let me make, do the other stamping. So it's the same. Okay. So let me just stamp these two while I have this stamp out for the ink pad. And then the next one says, I'll always be by your side. And that is so true for Winston. He is always like right there. All right. Unless Jeff goes somewhere and then he waits at the window on the couch and he looks out that window for dad to get home. But he's so cute. Oh my gosh. So yesterday when Eric got home from work, he you should hear him cry. Like it's like this, like it's just because he, he's so excited and he cannot wait for, um, you know, Eric to come over. All right. Okay. Now we've also on here, they also want you to stamp the little feet. So we're just kind of decorating. And this would be perfect for the envelopes too. You could really decorate the envelopes. So I love this um, kind of color wash there. They've done that. So it looks like, um, you know, you've actually done it, but it's already um, stamped on there. All right. So we need to make sure I do one with the cat and one with the dog. Um, let's see. So this is, does it matter? Oh my gosh. So I'm going to say this is a dog. This is a cat. All right. So this is a cat. It's got the little smaller feet and they're just putting it there so that you're going to see it when it sticks out of the, um, of your decoration. I'm also going to put one on the inside because why not, right? All right, so now let me do the dog one. So it's the same thing. It's just a little bigger paw. And we'll do the same thing. We'll put one on the inside as well. And what would be cute is you could go like this. Watch. Like he's walking, 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 walking. Would it look like that? Or would it go boop, 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 boop? Who knows? All right, so we've got that. I just kind of want to get all my stamping done and then I can just assemble them. All right, now with this one, with this one, it goes this direction now. So again, we have a kitty and a dog, but this one, they are stamping on this instead. So that's kind of cool. All right, so we have this. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a dog. And this just has a little one sticking out here. And one here. And here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. All right. And then we'll do the same thing with this one with the other kitty foot. And you could make them all like be dogs or whatever, but I just want to show you so then. You can decide, like, oh, you know, you might do them all, all, all with dogs. All right, so that looks good. I'll always be here by your side. And then, of course, I could um, put on the inside some of the other greetings, but I'm going to close this pad. You can see I re-inked it the other day, and I was very, very messy. 
So I have it all over here. So I'm just going to wipe this real quick with a wipe. I was very exuberant with the refill. All right. Okay. Now we can put our stuff together. I just want to check my fingers. All right. So let's go back to the first card. So I love the little um, hearts punched out because then you can see that um, the whatchamacallit, the, um, the color behind there. All right. So it looks like we're putting a lot of dimensionals. So it does come with the dimensionals. Super good. All right. And I'm just doing where they say. See? It just shows you. So it's really, really great um, if you do this with kids, too, right? All right. So I'm just going to put, well, that was that dog. I'm not even using the right dogs. Hold on a minute. There we go. I have a mess. You can see I'm still my my wrist is still not like super good at um twisting. It's still it's still very very stiff. All right. I just have to keep telling myself it's still early. It's still early. All right. So we have these guys, and I swear. It messed with my memory, too. Okay, so we have this going on here. So we're going to peel this off. And this just goes in the center. Well, I shouldn't say in the center. It's off, off a little bit, off to the side. So you can see the little cute little foot sticking out. Because we have that greeting that's going to go on there. So that looks good. Now, this was the dog. I want to make sure I don't mess up my feet prints. Okay, so this is a dog. <gasps> that silly little face. Okay. So he goes there. And then we've got the You Make My Heart Happy. And they have dimensionals on that, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dimensional here because it's going to go over that right and I don't want to put a dimensional on here because then it will be crooked even though it shows you know dimensional dimensional it would be crooked if I put one here because right because it would go like this so I am not going to put a dimensional I'm just going to put the one I'm going to stick that up underneath the puppy like that it's not really going to go anywhere, right? If that's too floppy, you could use some green tip glue. You could use a glue dot. Um, but it's it's pretty secure. But I'm just saying, if you put that dimensional there, it would be crooked. Okay. I'll just hold that like that. All right. And then while I'm holding that, oh, we want one of these beautiful gold embellishments. And they're a good size, too. All right. And that's just going to sit on here like that. But look how cute and how easy that one is. Okay. So now let's do the kitty one. And then you'll, you'll have one of each so you can go, oh. I'll have to compare. But see how quick that was? And if I'd stop gabbing, it would probably go even quicker. Okay. So again, a little bit off to the side. I don't want to hide that on the bottom too much. Now our cute little cat. 
Look at that little face. And then again. Now this time, this comes down a little bit. So this time I'm going to go like this. And scoot it up underneath there. Because the cat doesn't seem to take up as much room as the dog did. All right. And then we'll put our cute little heart again. They're pretty big. I can just pick them up with my hand. But the pick tool is just so handy. All right. So there's the kitty. All right. So there's two. All right. So now let's do this one. So this one, so this is the cat. Again, make sure I've got the right one. Cat. So we're going to pop this out. And then you could use your circle for, for something else if you want. And we're putting our dimensionals on here. And again, this is kind of neat because you can see that um, watercolor swish or whatever through the hole all right so this one looks like it's off to the side a little bit okay i'm just making sure i got my same feet all right so that's the kitty cat look how cute she is so she's laying down playing with a ball but you could probably put her like even like this would be cute, but she is laying down. Uh, and it's fun that it says, I'll always be by your side. Because that's what they're kind of doing, right? They're on their side as well. So it's kind of like a tongue in cheek. All right. So I'm going to put this on first. So then I can put my little kitty over top of it. All right. So I'll put my dimensionals on here. That way I don't by accident put them on here and then they're stuck here. All right. So I like that little foot just kind of sticking out. And then we're going to put our cute little cat right there. So again, I'm going to put my dimensionals in here. And I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to double them up because we've got this is dimensional and this is dimensional. So we need to make our cat be taller than this or she'll be kind of sunk in to the card. So I'm just doubling them up. So you just peel the back off the one, lay the other one on top and then peel that. And now their cat she'll be able to be tall enough. See, now she's perfect. So this way she was able to be taller to um, not be all saggy. Now she's a little loose here and she'll only need one dimensional here. And again, I'm putting it on the card so I can make sure I don't by accident Put it here and squish that down so now now she's perfect all right so let's get our little heart and the heart is over here this time you get do you get extras i'm not sure i always say don't um don't add extras till you get them all done and then if you have extras then you can go okay well i'm going to add another extra heart here or there all right but you hate to use extra and then you don't have enough when you get to the end. All right, so one more card and then we'll be done. All right, so again, peel peel that circle out. And this time it's gonna be the cute little dog. So it's basically, I'm doing the same thing. So you've got your one layer dimensionals here. And this gives that nice little shadow on the um, card there. Let's see. 
Is this the same? There we go. I might have stamped my feet weird on this one, but that's okay. That little dog is walking around. All right, so there's that. Then we have our cute puppy. Now, by accident, I put dimensionals on him. Let's see. We'll see if they're going to be in the right spot. I can always remove them. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other one. And I'm going to put my dimensionals on here. So I'm kind of hiding the foot a little bit, but that's okay. And then this little dog. So I think I put them in the right spot. All right, so we have one layer. I just lucked out where I put them. Two, three. Otherwise, do like the cat where you put them in the thing first. Now they're like extra, extra tall. So fun. It's like a, um, a black Winston. Except Winston's ears don't go up. I think even if we cut his um, hair on his ears, I think they still would be floppy ears. All right. And then this is also on that left side. So cute. So adorable. All right. So let me show you the ones. So this is the little hearts. So again, we could stick those on the inside. So I'm just going to put them off to the side there. All right. So here's the envelope. So this is kind of neat, right? Like, do they have, I think that's just a circle. I'm like looking to make sure. Yep, it's just, oh, look what they did. Look what they did. I didn't even catch that. They stamped in the circle the, the, the paw. So I'll do that. I'll do that after. But look how fun. All right. So we've got, I just want to make sure I do the, the right um, paws, right? So we have that one with this little cute little envelope. So here's the kitty and the dog. And then another kitty. So this is super, super cute. So I love that, that they left that little circle there so you could stamp. So there are the four. So I did one of each, super cute, but it does do, how many does it do? Two, four, it does eight cards. So stinking cute. So like I said, this would make a great, um, this would make a great kit for anybody. Hang on a minute. Let me say, see you later, alligator, before I get gabbing. <laughs> um, but this would, it would make a great kit. Don't you think for, like, for anybody that has, um, has animals, somebody's getting, you know, a, a new, a new fur baby or whatever, um, you know, and then this could even be, you know, if you have, um, uh, unfortunately, we, we lose our fur babies. I mean, it took us a couple years before we got Winston after Toby because I was like saying no more dogs. But I swear that Winston has both Sammy and Toby in him. Um, but anyways, I, would, I got off topic. But this would be like you could use any greetings that you have at home because um, this could even be, um, you know, it could be a sympathy if you put sympathy on there. Um, it's, it's just got, but like I said, I think I, um, I did get a couple extra kits because um, I knew it was going to be super cute. So I think I am. The next time I go to the vet, I think I'm going to um, give them one of these kits because like I said, it's all inclusive. Um, and then, um, you know, I'll, I'll put like, I'll, when I give it to them, I'll give them a finished card so then they can kind of like have a real one to look at um, so they know how to, um, how to make them, but uh, it, I think it would just be a perfect, even um, even the groomer, I think the groomer would like that, 
as well. Hmm. Very interesting. So just think about like, oh, who else would you um, would you gift this kit to if you um, you know if you didn't want it for yourself? All right. So I'm gonna stop blabbing so you can. Um, get on with your day. I want to thank you for spending some time with me this week. I really appreciate it. I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist. That will be at three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same channel. Don't forget today is the last day um, for the cutest cows bundle class in the mail kit. Um, and if you're watching the video today, which is the April the 12th, that because today's the day it ends. Um, also, don't forget to um, go to my blog and the last chance sale is on up to 60% off and things are running out. I've already had people like emailing me saying, is this still available? So um, don't wait. Um, don't wait to order, especially the in color stuff, right? I, 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 I think I re re say that so many times, but it is true. Like there's always somebody that um, con contacts me after um, and says, oh, I, I forgot to get, you know, like the sweet sorbet or whatever color is leaving. And um, so don't don't miss out on that. All right. Because I do not buy extra of that stuff. Um, so. All right. So I'm going to say see you later, alligator. I will see you Monday. Have a great weekend and um, I'll see you later. All right. Bye for now.